All right, so first and foremost, guys, uh, before I get started in this video today, I just want to come out and say thank you to everyone who kind of supported the video yesterday. Um, yesterday was outrageous, and even into today was outrageous. The numbers, um, everything that has happened with that video has uh, kind of blown up. And uh, I just want to say thank you. I, I like I'm still in shock looking at the numbers. I'm still kind of processing it. Uh, I never thought that starting a YouTube channel towards Marvel's Avengers uh, would kind of ki kind of gather that kind of view or interest. So uh, first and foremost, to everyone who's kind of supported that video and me and everything, just want to say thank you. Um, with that being said, today's video is going to be a little different. Um, so how about we cue the intro and get started? So my only worry about these are that they're going to be existing missions that just have a time modifier on them. Like, it feels like at least these are totally new areas, totally new things to kind of explore. Um, my biggest worry is that these are just kind of coating these missions with a fresh layer of paint um, in a way. And I hope that's not the case. Um, but for some reason i think that's what these are we won't i we won't know so this is me speculating guys by the way i, I don't know anything um so they these could totally be whole new scenarios and i and i hope they are but part of me thinks that these are just kind of the same old things with a fresh coat of paint um but we'll find out tomorrow i guess so the clip you just watched guys was the was part of the my reaction yesterday when the patch notes came out um so my biggest fear was that it was going to be the same and was just gonna like lipstick on a pig and uh so today i like hopped on my stream and i was like super pumped i was like you know this is like finally new content let's try and check it out right so you know i kind of you know obviously as you guys may know by now you start in sub like the the new shield substation and i was like wow this is like pretty cool like it, it it's a good springboard is what i'm gonna call it um it doesn't really offer anything right now obviously it offers like a new space to kind of pick up your dailies and everything like that but there's not really an offering to it so when finally it's like oh like i get to go out and do these new rifts now i was like oh this is super cool like um, it's time to go out there and try these out, you know, see what all the, you know, the hype could be around them. And um, so I'm doing the first one and I'm going to pull up the video. You guys are going to see the video from the stream here. Um, so obviously in the first one I'm playing with just one other person. We're having to struggle for time and, uh, you know, ultimately we fail and, you know, it's just what I don't understand. There's a few things that I don't understand here. Why is it that when you play with someone, it only goes up to a minute, right? You can't you can't bank time you know it's it's a minute only um why is it that it just seems that your your companions never will run through the rifts themselves you know obviously crystal dynamics is kind of made improvements to the ai and how they kind of interact and how they move around what i would like to see is i would like to see them run through the rifts themselves so one of the issues that i had and maybe you guys are having this issue as well is you know if you're playing with just one other person you know, you guys are trying to do something and, you know, you're running out of time. So one person has to go pretty much focus on getting time. The other person's focused on the objective and your AI companions are just kind of not doing anything. Um, so they, that needs to be addressed straight up forward. And the other thing is that when it comes to the overall grand scheme of how these missions take shape, um, I just don't think they're fun. So anyone who knows me knows my opinion on Marvel's Avengers right now, especially the Mega Hive. If you guys are familiar with kind of my opinion on the Mega Hive, I said I said doing the same thing 40 times in a row or doing, you know, out of a series of five or six different things, if you're just kind of repeating after each other, it's not fun. It's 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 boring and it kind of causes you to kind of lose kind of that that lust of of the game or the love of the game, right? So when I when I made the video yesterday, my, my whole thing was, please let this be new content. Please let this be new missions. Please let this be new scenarios, new environments. Please like 
It, I, I don't care. Like, throw me 40 robots, but just make it different. Show me that it's different. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I started doing these riffs, I did two. Um, I, I did the one, and then I failed the second one, I believe. <laughs> I, I don't even remember. No, my, my PS4 crashed, so that's what it is. My PS4 crashed, so that's always a good time, too. Um, but when, I, when I'm doing these, I'm going through them. I'm just like, these aren't good these aren't great these these are nothing like this is this is not what we need Th this game needs new content that's inspiring um this game needs new content that wants you to log on and play doing time trials doesn't doesn't do anything doing time trials with mo with health modifiers doesn't do anything it doesn't make me want to play it doesn't make me want to log in and go you know what crap i need to go do my my rift my my tachyon rifts no i it, it like the problem with this is like you can throw all all the content you want you can you can dress it up however you want you can you can put you know blue lipstick red lipstick black lipstick it doesn't matter what kind of lipstick you put on this pig if the pig just doesn't want to do anything except roll around in the mud and that's all this pig wants to do it just wants to roll around in the mud every time i log into the game now and it's oh this hallway is the same that hallway is the same this is the same that's the same i just i just look at it and i'm like where's the new stuff like why is this all the same like where did where did the development resources go into the environments and I'm not, that's not to say the environments aren't pretty or they aren't well thought out it's just there's so much that is very similar that it, it kind of it, you know to, to someone who doesn't really know game development and i'm sure you know some of you guys don't also like not everyone's gonna be a game developer or no game development but it starts to make you question and wonder you know if this game was in development for five years where did that five years go like what what was what was kind of working in that five years how much of that was pre-production versus like how much of that was like actually building out the the, the levels and everything right I, I, i'm super sorry guys like I, I this is all kind of like raw reaction i, I want to get this video out um as quick as possible for you guys because i i just at this point like I'm, I'm kind of dumbfounded with um with the direction this game is going in and um and i feel like i owe it to you guys to give you guys like the the ultimate like first hand like these are my true thoughts like i'm not going to censor myself like and i feel like i owe that to you guys to kind of make sure that like, i'm being authentic right and and and, and part of that is going to be i don't I, I i don't really write things down or whatever but that, I, I digress anyways like the main point of this is that the game's been in development for five years Okay, we are one month and like two weeks into the game and we are already experiencing burnout. I'm experiencing burnout and I wasn't even playing that long, but with a lack of different enemies, different environments, different mission types, different things that you can do leads to everything feeling the same. All right, we need new content. And not just new content that has a different, you know, like, I I mean, we need do new mission types, right? We need new enemies. We need new environments, okay? I'm very sympathetic to everything going on, so don't get me wrong. If they could just, I don't know, like, this probably isn't, like, feasible or possible. Um, but if I could get this, the same mission types, the same, same mission scenarios that we have now, but if I could get them in new environments, I would be okay. Throw something in the in like one of the forests or whatever. Don't make everything like a weird aim base. Like, give me more snow environments that are out in the snow. Put some more blizzards in. Like, give me give me more stuff. You know, I I just want more variety of what I'm looking at, what I'm traversing, what I'm fighting in. I don't want to always be running down the same four or five hallways every single time. And it feels like that's what we're doing. And it's so disappointing. I don't care about a time trial. I don't know about you guys, but I, as I said in my stream today, I don't care about time trials unless I'm playing a racing game. If I'm not playing a racing game, I don't give a fuck about time trials. All you're doing is artificially creating difficulty, right? You have content that's easy, normal, hard, right? Or then, and then you always have like a variation between like medium or like extra, like super hard or or you know dark souls level hard or whatever 
but the, but that's always that can always come down to game mechanics right you know game mechanics get added they get taken away to create you know kind of that difficulty scale what this time trial does is it just basically artificially increases the difficulty the, the levels themselves aren't hard the enemies themselves aren't hard but when you only have a minute and in that minute you're you're dealing with maybe one other teammate that's not really sure what's going on and you have some ai companions that aren't really helping and you're trying to juggle doing the objective but also getting the time like and you and you can't bank time past the minute whereas if you play single player you can do two minutes like at this point what 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 they should have done and here's my honest opinion if they're going to stick with the tachyon riffs which i believe they are what they should do is first change that they need across the board is you can bank as much time as you want if someone wants to run around and collect four or five minutes worth of time let them it doesn't matter just let them do it okay who cares this artificial limit of one minute doesn't do anything it doesn't provide anything it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't make it hard it just makes it tedious and when your game is tedious people are gonna leave man make make the game fun make the game hard but make the game fair and that's what you need those are the three pillars i truly believe in any video game hard fun fair and if you can't do that why are we bothering to play and that's all i got for you guys all right that's that's honest to god all i got <sighs> I'm, I'm I, you know what and and just before I finish this video I just want to say I as someone who started a YouTube channel for this game and uh who who is very much so into Marvel and Avengers obviously um I just want to say that watching this game struggle and the developers kind of struggle has been heartbreaking um because this should be this should be a slam dunk so with that being said, guys, this is it for the video today. I will have another one out uh, in, within the next few days. And uh, with that being said, I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, you enjoyed the content I put out related to Marvel's Avengers, hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment, do whatever you got to do. And uh, I will see you next time. All right. Peace out.